just going to show you how to do a CSV table in the XM700. So what we've got here is we've got our columns and our rows. So in this column, this first column here, I'm going to make this part of my lookup. You could make this um, a date or the part number of the component. And in the, in the second column, you could make, this is all your variables. In there here, I've got a date, but you could have a serial number and another code, another variable code, and um, a wheel diameter or pump uh, specification. Um, so this is just out of a normal, in a normal uh, Excel spreadsheet. Then what you need to do, I've called this one the XM700-CSV. So, and it's an, as you can see, it's got the Excel extension on there. What I need you to do then is um, then save it as a, say, go to save as, save it as a CSV file, as you can see here, CSV comma delimited. So that means that in between each column, it's going to be a uh, comma, how it saves it, and then just save it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable zero which is uh, going to be the file that uh, the column that we're going to type in to the uh, the screen and then we're going to then put make uh, variables of what we're going to mark as v1 2 and 3 okay so we'll show you how to create this file on the xm700 so this is the XM700 and you've got here, this is the screen what you get when you first open the machine up. What we're going to do is we're going to import the uh, CSV file and you've got two USB ports on the side. So plug your USB key um, dongle in there or a stick. Go to file management, go to your USB keys. It will actually read your key. Select the CSV file you've got in there. Import the CSV file, it will say you've successfully imported. Go to the home button, click on edit file, then go new file and what we're going to do is edit the first block in the file. So go to linear and then go down to function, uh, click on to this down there and we're going to put a variable in. Okay, And from the variable in we're going to use the keyboard, that's going to set the, uh, uh, the what option of the variable that you're going to put in. So what we can do is we will call this one um, part number or um, selection so what happens here is we're going to look up on this v0 and you're going to type in the keyboard on one of these numbers and it will then select this row so if you selected uh, in uh, number one it will we're going to call up these three variables okay so we're going to call it select number press enter and then we'll get out of that block and then what we're going to do is create a new block and in this block here, we're going to call up the variables. So we're going to select our function, select CSV table. Okay, then it will give us our options. We're going to choose the um, the um, the file as well. And this this part here is the the delimiter. So we we use the common delimiter. So put in a comma, and then we're going to select our CSV file. So you select up the top there the, uh, the file that you're going to choose and it will go into your folder that we imported okay so we're going to start from row one and column one um, and what, what it's going to do it's going to look up which is the um, this one here we're going to search um, into column one and we're going to that's where it's going to look for the variable now we're going to set the um, other column, so we, it's going to mark column two, and we're going to set column two as variable one. So what it's going to do is look up variable, and then what it's going to do is we're setting the variable two, um, and this is the one we're going to mark is oops, the variable one. Sorry, um, in, into the start into the file here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this the, the second. Um, table there, we're going to edit and so saves have to import everything so all we've got to do is change here so we're going to look up column 3 
and we're going to make that one variable too. So the reason why it's like this is because the variables start from zero, um, so variable zero is column one and variable, uh, variable one is in column two. So we're going now uh, column three, variable two, which is here, variable two, which is our third col column along. Okay, so we need to just um, just make sure we've got the delimiter in there, so that's been copied over from the previous block. Okay, so we can just copy this block and paste it, and we can edit the next block. Just scroll down, looking now into column four, and making that one variable three. And that one's done. So now we've, we've made all our variables. So this one here is our lookup variable by the keyboard. Now we're setting our um, variables in here coming from the tables. Now we've just got to now set where we want to mark them uh, and uh, in, in, the, in the job. So we now add a block. Set the position of that. Now Okay, that stays as linear. So we, we're calling this uh, the first, we can just call this uh, variables, uh, the variable one that we're going to mark, which is in column two. Okay, so the text, we go into there and we press the one, two, three and hold down the V zero and then we select our V one, which is our variable then we give it at the position, so we'll put in there 10 millimetres, so it moves a little bit away from our X stop, and we'll put in here, make sure that you put the Y more than the height of your uh, your text height, or we'll maybe make that one eight. Okay, and then see the text height here, we'll make that five mil. Um, and then we hit use the usual standards, you can change the font, how hard it hits um, and everything like that. So what we've done now is we've set our first block of editing, uh, of the uh, marking, sorry. So we're going to copy that and paste it. So we then go into there. So the only thing we need to do now is uh, change the uh, variable to two. And change the V there to variable two, hold down the V zero. To, to enter and just change the Y so we move it down a little bit so make that 15 enter and the X can stay the same so that's fine They're all the same so now we just need to copy that block and paste it underneath to get our third block so we go there for a variable and our V0 go into the one, two, three, hold down the V zero, variable three, enter, and then just in our Y, move it down, so make it 23, press enter, and then go back. So all of them are the same, so go back. So now what we want to do is save this file, so it's called new file at the moment, so we want to call that whatever job name we want to call it, we'll just call it, um, we'll just call it XM700, XM700 CSV. Just for and just press the enter and go save on the save button up the top right there. And then what we can do is preview it. So just click on the second one, we go preview, and as you can see there, that's it's pulling the data from the first first row, uh, and that's what's going to mark. So as you can see there. That's what it's marking across here. Okay, so this is what will happen then if you go out of that to mark it. You go um, home, click on the top and the marking button, select, select your file. So it's XM700, what we saved it. We press the marking button, we press play to mark. And say, for instance, we want to mark uh, line three, we just press three, press enter, and then what we can do then is mark. The, the job and it will actually tell us what we're marking as we're 
going through the top. That's doing a variable run, which is the back. Doing a variable turn, which is the half turn. Doing a variable turn, which is the half turn. Okay, so that's the XM700 marking that first row.